Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some exciting news in the world of aviation. So you know how Boeing is always pushing the boundaries and coming up with groundbreaking technology? Well, hold on to your seats, because the CEO of Boeing just dropped a major hint about a new plane that could be an absolute game changer. Now, we don't have all the juicy details just yet, but let me tell you, we're going to talk about some self-flying plane technology. Airtel and Boeing partnership, Boeing's micro lattice, and Boeing CEO and Indian PM Modi's meeting. The CEO of Boeing thinks it's not a question of if self-flying planes will hit the market, but of when. Dave Calhoun of Bloomberg TV says that the plane maker's technology for autonomous flight, which is currently being studied for military use, will one day be used on commercial planes. Eventually, all the planes will be able to fly themselves. Calhoun said at an event in Everett, Washington that marked the last delivery of the famous 747 jumbo jet. Autonomy is the future of civil aviation, he said. Boeing and NASA might work together to test fly a prototype plane with a new wing design that, according to Calhoun, could save up to 30% more fuel than narrow-body planes like the 737 MAX. This could be Boeing's next iconic design. Calhoun thinks that the transonic truss-braced wing, which will be tested by Boeing and NASA in 2028, will replace the 737. The CEO said, Now we have to show that it can be used in business. We want to show ourselves that this kind of technology can be turned into a business. Calhoun also said that his business is picking up talented people from companies like Amazon.com and Microsoft that are letting people go. We hired 15,000 new people last year. We'll have 10,000 more this year, he said, adding that many of the software workers hired come from Amazon. That's never been a problem for us. Do I think the cuts have made things a little easier? Without question. Also, Boeing and Intel have formed a new strategic partnership to improve semiconductor technology across the aerospace industry. The goal is to develop next-generation microelectronics applications for artificial intelligence, secure computing, and advanced flight capabilities for future products. This partnership is expected to speed up the development of key parts of Boeing's strategy for the future of aerospace, with a focus on technology that is easy to make, digital, self-driving, and good for the environment. Patty Chang Chien, Vice President and General Manager of Boeing Research and Technology said, We are excited to work with Intel to speed up state-of-the-art microelectronics computing technologies to meet the needs of our aerospace customers. One of our core strengths and a key part of national security is being able to use advanced commercial technology in aerospace. The companies will look at a wide range of microelectronics uses, such as the joint design, development, and production of foundational semiconductors and the improvement of flying capabilities and high-performance edge computing solutions. Boeing will work with Intel to build next-generation capabilities that are important for national security. They will do this by using Intel 18A technology, a cutting-edge SI CMOS or silicon complementary metal oxide semiconductor production process, and other technologies. Cameron Chevra, Vice President and General Manager of Intel Public Sector, said, Our partnership with Boeing is another chance to use the power of Intel's unmatched silicon offerings for Boeing's world-class aerospace systems, which are important to the global competitiveness of our country. Microelectronics is also expected to help Boeing improve its processes make it easier and cheaper to bring design ideas to market, and help the company gain technical knowledge. Boeing's new micro lattice, which is now the lightest metal ever, is another big step forward. If you look at how things have been with materials over the past 50 years, you'll see that not much has changed. We still use dead trees to build houses, and most cars are still made of iron. Though this is changing. Just recently, there have been improvements in battery technology which are only possible because of the trillion-dollar cell phone business. So any new technology gets us excited, and Boeing's new micro lattice catches our attention. Boeing hasn't said what's going into it yet, but we do know that 99.99% of it is empty space, which makes it very light. It's so light that if you drop it, it will just float to the ground. It can also be squeezed, which lets it take in energy and spring back, 
As you can see in the movie after the break, it is made by first making a sacrificial skeleton in the shape of the final lattice. Then, a nickel phosphorus alloy is used to fill the skeleton. After that, the temporary inner structure is etched away, leaving a micro lattice of small hollow rods that are linked and have walls that are 100 nanometers thick. Of course, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why Boeing is interested in these materials. They see them as a way to build planes and spaceships that are very light. The next thing we'll talk about is how Boeing is also in the lead in India. David Calhoun, the CEO of Boeing, praised Prime Minister Narendra Modi's plans for India's flight business. He pointed out how fast the country is building new airports and how big its global potential is. During PM Modi's recent trip to the US, he talked with the CEO of Boeing in Washington, D.C. In an exclusive interview with Ani, the CEO of Boeing said, The most important takeaway is the PM's passion for India's development. He is very interested in airplanes and space travel. It's a great plan. He stressed how important it was for India and the area as a whole for the country to be a leader in aviation and airspace. I want India to play an important role, not just for India, but for the whole region. I think it's great when a leader's vision for the country matches up with new technologies and opportunities," Calhoun said after meeting with PM Modi. He said that the way Prime Minister Modi treats business, industry and opportunities says a lot about what he wants for India. I think it's clear, not just to me, but to almost everyone who has talked to him," he said. The CEO of Boeing went on to say that his company wants to help India because it has a big local market that needs to be served. At Boeing, we agree with that 100%. There is a huge market at home that needs to be met. Airport construction is now moving at a rate that has never been seen before in the country. Then there are opportunities around the world. He says that Air India is putting a lot of money into new equipment, skills and people so that it can handle a big share of the international traffic that it deserves. The world's two biggest jet makers have announced record-breaking deals. These deals were made possible by an increase in demand from Indian regional flights. This could be a sign that the commercial aviation industry, which has been struggling for years because of COVID, is on the way back. Air India has made two important deals with Airbus, in partnership with France, and Boeing, in partnership with the US, for the purchase of 470 passenger jets. These deals are worth about $100 billion. A company statement says that Air India and Boeing have an agreement for 190 737 MAXs, 20 787 Dreamliners, and 10 777X jets, with the opportunity to buy 50 more 730 MAXs and 20 more 787 Dreamliners. The airline has ordered 270 A320neo and A321neo narrowbody planes and 40 A350 widebody jets from Airbus. India wants to become a world leader in aviation, which is projected to take about 2,000 planes over the next 15 years. This agreement shows how serious India is about this goal. Under India's Make in India, Make for the World goal, the deal is expected to make India the third largest player in the aviation industry and open up new possibilities for making aerospace products. At the Paris Air Show in Le Bourget, France, Boeing revealed that it had finalized an order for up to 220 commercial planes for Air India, which is growing quickly. Air India also has the option to buy an extra 70 planes. The same airline had already decided to buy 250 planes from Airbus, a European company that competes with Boeing. The day before, Indigo, an Indian low-cost airline, had made a firm order for 500 Airbus A320 passenger jets. It is the biggest deal in the history of commercial aviation. India's civil aircraft industry is one of the fastest growing in the world, and it will be a big part of the country's plan to grow its economy to $5 trillion by 2024. By 2038, the number of aircraft in the country is expected to have tripled, hitting about 2,500. During Prime Minister Narendra Modi's official visit to the United States, the White House made a fact sheet that said AI's order for more than 200 Boeing planes will support more than 1 million American jobs in 44 states and help modernize India's civil aviation sector. Thanks for watching this video.